All right. Ready to dive into something really cool with me today. Always up for a good deep dive. What are we looking at? It's called genmagic.org. Okay. Genmagic.org. Got it. And at first glance, you know, it might seem like just another site for educational apps. Mm -hmm. But I think you'll see as we get into it that it's so much more than that. All right. I'm intrigued. Let's hear it. So we're talking AI-powered stories. We're talking brain training games, even resources for language learning. Okay. All completely free. Free is always a good place to start, especially with educational resources. Yeah. So where do we even begin with a site like this? Well, they've got this section called applicaciones, basically applications. Mm -hmm. And it's organized by subject area. So like a digital library, kind of? Yeah, exactly. You've got math. You've got language. Pretty standard stuff. Right. But then they have Juegos de Memoria, memory games. Okay. And Juegos de Observación, observation games. Interesting. So it sounds like they're really trying to cover a lot of ground, not just focusing on traditional academic skills. Yeah, it's like they're saying learning should be engaging. It should be fun. It's not just about textbooks. I like that. Makes it a lot more appealing, especially for younger learners who might not be as excited about, you know, just hitting the books all the time. Yeah, definitely. And here's something else that's interesting, that the whole website is in Spanish and Catalan. Oh, wow. So bilingual right off the bat. I'm guessing that adds a whole other layer to the language learning aspect. Exactly, yeah. You're right. picking it up naturally as you're exploring the site. That's really clever. It's like subtle immersion. Right. And here's the thing. It's not just about consuming content on genmagic.org. They actually encourage users to create and share their own educational applications. Oh, wow. So it's interactive. Users can contribute their own stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's a really cool concept. Like a community then almost. It is, yeah. And speaking of community, you know, I was poking around the site earlier. Yeah. And I found something called Quintos Mat Con IA. Quintos Mat Con IA. What is that exactly? It means math stories with AI. Oh, okay. Yeah, math stories with AI. It caught my eye, too. I mean, come on, math and storytelling, what's not to love? Right. Pretty unusual combination. You don't see that every day. And then throw AI into the mix, and it really makes you wonder what they're doing over there. Yeah, it speaks to a certain forward-thinking approach to education. You know, they're not afraid to experiment, try new things. Definitely not. And this AI angle, it's like they're really trying to understand how people learn best, you know? Because mm, we all connect with stories. Yeah. It's a fundamental way that we make sense of the world. Exactly, yeah. And so if AI can help make those stories even more engaging. And effective. Exactly. Especially with something like math, which some people find, well, let's just say it's not always the most exciting subject. I think it's safe to say that, yeah. But imagine if you can learn about fractions through an interactive story. Where you've got AI characters guiding you along the way. Yeah. And suddenly it's not just about memorizing formulas, it's an adventure. It's brilliant. And you know what else? They're doing the same thing with language. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've got Quintos Lang, Con IA, AI-infused language stories. Oh, wow. So they're really going all in on this AI storytelling thing. Yeah, they are. And across different subjects, which is really impressive to me. It's like they're saying, hey, forget those boring old textbooks. We're doing things differently here. Yeah. And let's not forget... They're offering all of this for free. Oh, yeah, that's the other amazing part. It's like they're democratizing access to these incredible learning tools. I mean, that's huge. It really is. Okay, so you found something else while you were exploring the site. I did. You're going to love this. Yeah. They mentioned something called the 14 Trobada de Centers Innovadores a Catalunya. Are you familiar with that? You're going to have to refresh my memory. My Catalan's a little rusty. What does that translate to? It's the 14th meeting of innovative centers in Catalonia. And get this, there's a reference to a presentation that was given at this meeting called Creación de Recursos Educativos con IA. That's Creation of Educational Resources with AI. Hold on. So they're presenting at a gathering of innovators about using AI in education. Exactly. Okay, that's really saying something. I mean, that's not just some random website. They're plugged into a whole network. A network of educators who are passionate about pushing the boundaries. Okay, so we've got this website, genmagic.org, that's offering all these cool AI-powered learning tools, and they're connected to this group of forward-thinking educators in Catalonia who are all about innovation in the classroom. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. It really is. So what does all of this mean for our listeners out there, for the learner who's always looking for new and interesting ways to, well, learn? It means they've stumbled upon something special. I mean, this isn't just another collection of educational apps. It's like... This whole world, this portal to all these incredible 
learning resources that are constantly being updated. I like that. A portal. And it's not just about the content itself, right? It's about being part of a community. That's what's so cool about it. It's like they've created this space where people can learn and grow together. Yeah. I mean, imagine if every subject was taught this way, if mm -hmm. every student had access to these kinds of tools. I know, right? It, it could totally change the way we think about education. It really makes you think about the possibilities, doesn't it? It does. And you know, when you think about it, it all comes back to that presentation, the Creación de Recursos Educativos con AI, the creation of educational resources with AI. They're not just talking about the future of education, they're actively shaping and it. And they're doing it in a way that's accessible to everyone. Exactly. That's the beauty of genmagic.org. It's not some exclusive club. Anyone with an internet connection can tap into this incredible resource. And it's all thanks to that commitment to innovation, that willingness to push the boundaries of what's possible. And that's what makes it so exciting for the learner, right? That sense of discovery, that feeling like you're on the cutting edge of something new. Yeah, it's not just about the content itself. It's about being part of a community that's constantly evolving, always striving to improve. And that's where the real magic happens, I think. When you bring together a group of people who are all passionate about learning, and give them the tools and the space to connect and collaborate. It's like we said earlier, it's the difference between learning a language from a textbook and immersing yourself in a culture where you're surrounded by fluent speakers. Absolutely. One is all about memorization. The other is about truly experiencing the language, about making it your own. And that's what genmagic.org offers, that immersive experience, that chance to really dive in and explore. So to all our listeners out there, all you learners out there, if you're ready to take your learning to the next level, I highly recommend checking out genmagic.org. You won't be disappointed. I couldn't agree more. And with that, we'll wrap up this deep dive into the fascinating world of genmagic.org. We hope you've enjoyed exploring this incredible resource with us. And who knows, maybe it'll spark some innovative ideas of your own. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning. Happy learning, everyone.